What's up, Young Hollywood? Tonight we're at Elton John Live right outside of Dodger Stadium where we're on the yellow brick carpet where we're going to catch up with some of your fave celebs. So stay tuned. This is awesome. I love it. I think you've reposted Young Hollywood before. We've we've I instant I've done I think I've definitely done stuff with you. I mean, come on, Young Young Hollywood. You're, you're the representation of Young oh, Hollywood. thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, tell us about the fit. Can you give us a fit oh, rundown? Fit? Okay. Um, so, a fit rundown. My mom bought this. My mom bought this. My mom bought this. Funny story. So, we were going to the Topanga Mall to go buy this whole, to buy all this stuff for this because we heard that we were coming here like two days ago. So, it was pretty last minute. So, we ran to the mall and the second we get there, I get a headache and it was so bad that I had to lay down in the back of the car. My mom went into the mall, picked all this out. I will say the one thing I can give an explanation about is the shoes. We got the mummy dunks on right now. They are hand-me-downs from the uh, under wraps from here. I mean, I got to wear the same shoes, got to carry it on. They're a legacy. They're the best shoe ever. Um, but no, I think this is, it's, this brand is called Pleasures. So it's a it's a new brand that I've I've never heard of before. So I, I mean I like it. I love the pants and so yeah. Do you approve of your mom's choice? Oh my! I approve, I approved the second I saw it. She brought she brought the she brought the um, the bag back into the car and I was like, what the, my mom's Good. a pro. She she's a stylist. Come on now, she's over right over there. Shout the, out mom. Shout out shout out my mother. Shout out my mother. And are you big sneakerhead then? I am a massive sneakerhead. I. I've been into shoes for a while, um, but recently in the past probably year, I've I've definitely started to up my shoe collection. I in my room I have a wall of shoes, so that's it's like it's starting to grow. It's still still in the small. I'm not I wouldn't say smaller side, but it's definitely not like my dream shoe collection. My Where dream, it's, it's supposed to be. Yet. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. I'd love to have like a room of just shoes. That's 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 the dream. That's the goal. That's the goal. And how familiar are you with Elton John? Because you're like, he's he's been around for a while. He's been around for a while. <laughs> I haven't been around for a while. Um, I mean, I'm 15, so it's like I'm. I, I didn't really. I I didn't really grow up listening to him. But my parents are both in music, so it's kind of like I was exposed to that era a lot during my childhood, and so I was, which I was really grateful for because I'm not just stuck listening to a bunch of this. 20, 2020 rap and a bunch of, I mean don't get me wrong I love it but like I definitely have another kind of another group of music that I like to listen to as well like Elton John so yeah. yeah if you could feature on one of his songs do you have a song preference okay so <laughs> I'm still standing is the best song I've ever heard in my entire life come on now it's it's the best song ever? May, okay maybe not ever that might be in a little bit of an exaggeration but it's my favorite Elton John song I, it's my favorite Elton John. Song. Like I'm very familiar with Elton John. Mr. John, I'm a very big fan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> come on, he's awesome. His style, his glasses, his glasses collection is insane. I mean, everything. everything. It's, he's perfect. Awesome. He's the, he's the best. The goat. The goat. Elton John's the goat. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Are right, you look amazing? Thank you. Are you excited to be here? Yes, I'm so excited. I love Elton John. How? Okay, tell us about the fit. Tell us, and even the nails, because your nails look oh, really, really good. Oh my God, thank you. No one ever notices. Um, <laughs> Yeah, my nails are actually for the show, for the show I'm filming right now, which is Villains of Valley View. Um, but they so went with a dress, which was lucky. Like and the fit's out. anthropology, which no, I didn't no, expect, because it's very, like, I don't know, it's very edgy for anthropology, but I really like it, so yeah. You look, oh, you look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so speaking of the show that you're filming, obviously we just talked to your co-star, and then we talked to Malachi earlier. Can you give us a rundown on how that is? Yes, it's amazing. I mean, it's one of my favorite shows that I've ever worked on. I think that this season is a lot more action. It's a lot higher stakes, and hopefully we'll get to see some, you know, like, relationships blossom, which I think would be cool. And, yeah, I'm, I honestly don't know a lot of the stuff that's going to happen, so I'm kind of taking it episode by episode. I mean, a lot of times, like, fans are like, oh, my God, you know what happens. I know, and I, I genuinely don't know what happens. I know, I know maybe three episodes before everyone else, but that's pretty much it. Like, you're just going with the punches. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm just going with what happens. <laughs> okay, and how how much do you love Elton John? Are you a big fan? Yes, I'm a huge fan. I'm, I grew up in London, so in London, Elton John is kind of like a household name. Like, he's an icon. I know he is here, too, but I mean... He's, especially for like a theater kid, someone who started out in theater, he's so flamboyant and like his songs are so theatrical that it's it's just something that I've always listened to and yeah, I love his music. What song are you looking forward to him playing the most? Rocket Man, because that's my favorite song. And I know that's probably everyone's favorite song, but that's the song that I've been like, I've always wanted to hear that song live, so I'm excited. Here you go, at Dodger know, Stadium, exactly. you're going to be able to hear it live. Yeah, exactly. Are you a fan of Dua Lipa? Yes, definitely. And you're, are you excited to see her perform with him? Yes, I am. I saw Dua Lipa perform 
by accident when I was like 12 years old, right when she was just becoming famous, and she was opening for someone. And I remember seeing her and going, oh my God, this girl's so amazing. I was like, I bet she's going to be really famous, and now she's, now she's Dua Lipa. Yeah, now she's Dua Lipa, so. <laughs> and we asked, we asked her, but if you could invite five people to Thanksgiving dinner, dead or alive, anybody, who would you want to invite? Ooh, okay. I would want to invite Lana Del Rey. Um, oh, this is so hard. Lana Del Rey, maybe Elton John. <laughs> Ellen, come, come to Thanksgiving. Come on over. Yeah, um, Kaden. I'll say Kaden. I heard her say me, and I would love to have Kaden. She would bring good food to any dinner. Like, she'd show up with a dish, so I know it would be great. And... Hunter Schaefer and Zendaya. There you go. Euphoria them. Thanksgiving. Oh, I love them. I would die if I met them in person. Yeah. I would literally die. Great table. Yes. Elton and Zendaya. We would have so much to talk about. It would be great. Everyone go around and share. Everyone share a story. I would, I would definitely be feeling very intimidated at that table. I'd just be sitting and listening, so that would be great. Well, amazing. Thank you so much. You look so good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Can you tell us about the fit? Just give us a fit rundown. Um, Honestly, this has been sitting in my closet for two years, just waiting for a carpet moment like this. So I'm like, honestly, pulled it out today. I'm very excited. I've also had these shoes, flame shoes on. Like, they match perfectly. You can see that. But yeah, I had that in my closet for four years. So it's just, I kind of find things everywhere. So that's what this outfit is. It's pretty good together. I just put it together in my closet. It's great. Well, the orange matches perfectly. Right? That's what I'm saying. I was like, when I saw these shoes with this suit, I was like, oh, this is my moment. Like, I have to wear these together. This is great. Four years later. Yes, four years later. I have so much shoes in my closet. I think I have, like, 60 pairs that are just, like, waiting for the perfect, like, outfit. Exactly. <laughs> waiting for this mo moment. Just for Elton. And we talked to our co-star, Malachi, right? Oh, you're in the same... You're yeah, like, guy. Chi -chi. Do you love him so much? I love that kid to death. Sometimes I just want to... <laughs> But no, he's great. I love him. <laughs> just, yeah. Love him, love him. Yeah. Okay, what do you know about Elton John? Ooh, if I'm going to be honest, I don't know too much. But my dad is a ginormous fan. And every single time I'd ride in the car with him, he'd always have Elton John playing. So I probably should have learned it. I sound like I feel really bad coming here and like not knowing too many of his songs. But I'm here to support. And that's pretty much it. I feel kind of bad for not knowing the songs, but I will learn. I promise. I promise. That's, well, we're going to hold you to that, so. But Dua Lipa's performing with him. Do you like Dua? I do love Dua. Ever since she came out, don't show up, don't come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's great. Very excited to see that. And the song that they do together. I know that song as well, radio. So, yes, I'm very excited for Dua and big fan of both. <laughs> Your dad may be a bigger fan, but you're also a fan of Alan John. Yes, it, it's more of his generation and my mom's, which I can't say that because also Elton like definitely has spoken to our younger generation as well. But uh, yeah, I listen to a lot of music, but maybe not Elton. But I'm I'm gonna start, okay? I'm sorry. I, I don't even mean to diss him like that, but he's great. Love the fish. And Thanksgiving's coming up, so if you could pick five people, I know that's a lot, but five people to have at your Thanksgiving table, who would it be? Well, of course, my, my parents, my mom and my dad. Um, this little chick over here, Isabella Puppas. Um, and uh, <laughs> I don't have to think. I mean, could it be anybody? Anybody. Like dead or alive? Dead or alive. Oh, wow. That's a really hard one. Maybe my grandma, who, who passed away a, a few years ago, she'd be great to have back at the dinner table again. And, um, oh, gosh, I was not ready for this. Jesse Reyes, my favorite singer. I know that's really random, but... Yeah. Her any food she wants, she can have it. Yes, anything. Turkey, <laughs> ham, anything corn casserole, I'll make it for you. Just come on over. <laughs> yeah. Well, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great. Thank you.